Wall Street had a muted reaction to today's job numbers. The Dow closed slightly down, losing about nine points to end the trading day at 34, 746. The S&P was also down about eight and a half points, finishing at 43.91. The tech-heavy Nasdaq lost more than 74 points to close at 14.579. In an unprecedented move, more than 130 countries have agreed to a corporate minimum tax. The global corporate tax rate will be set at 15 percent. The reason this is so huge is the global minimum is designed to prevent multinational companies from sliding their profits into countries with lower tax rates. President Biden has been a proponent of the plan. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is calling today's move a, quote, once in a generation accomplishment for economic diplomacy. The Trump Hotel in Washington lost $70 million during his administration, and that's according to documents released today by a congressional committee investigating the former president's business. According to the Associated Press, the House Committee on Oversight and Reform said the luxury hotel was struggling despite an estimated $3.7 million in revenue from foreign governments. The committee also says the Trump Hotel received preferential treatment from a commercial bank. Next time you take a swig in the sky, it could be a drink from a black distillery. Dunord Social Spirits just signed a deal with the Delta. They're going to offer their Dunord Vodka on all domestic flights. They plan on using more Dunord products in the future. The drink deal is part of Delta's supplier diversity program, and that includes a commitment to doubling dollars spent with black owned businesses by 2025. For the first time in decades, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, or FEMA, is updating the way that it calculates your flood insurance rates. And this can have a particularly profound effect on homeowners in black and brown neighborhoods. For years, the federal government has been encouraging homeowners to get flood insurance. That's because for the most part, floods are not covered by your regular homeowner's policy. And the studies have found the first inch of water causes an average of $27,000 in damage. FEMA's been calculating flood insurance risk the same way since the 70s. Craig Fugate is a former FEMA administrator. What was happening was some people were paying more than their risk. And so FEMA began looking at how to adjust that and they came up with something called Risk 2.0. Fugate says for the first time in 40 years, the National Flood Insurance Program is changing the way it calculates flood risk. And that is likely to have a big impact on black and brown communities. Inland residents and communities of color, historically black areas that were low income, uh, often built uh, in areas that required flood insurance, were paying far more than what their risk required. And so this is about fairness and equity. According to the new calculations, more than 215,000 policyholders will be getting at least a $1,000 break on their yearly premiums. Fugate also told us that because of climate change and the increase in rainfall events, that you should get flood insurance even if you live outside what's traditionally considered a flood zone. So make sure you check with your insurance agent. By law, someone in your area has to sell you federal flood insurance if you request it.